Welcome to Living University's World Literature 261 course. I'm David Moss, your tour guide, guiding you through some exciting vistas representing people's aspirations, fears, hopes, and frustrations, aspiring to, as Victorian poet Matthew Arnold expressed, to know the best that has been thought or said in the world. Perhaps the crowning uniqueness of human beings as preeminent of all God's creatures is his self-reflexive ability to contemplate. The late Count Alfred Korsybski, father of general semantics, would explain this capability as a product of time-binding. Time-binding is the ability to emerge past, present, and future through the means of symbols from an ever-changing, tumultuous cascade of sensory impressions, human beings are able to isolate and fixate upon a relative handful of point events, assigning significance and meaning to them. Of all the world's creatures, mankind alone has been granted the role of namer and signifier. We read this, of course, in Genesis 2.20. In this role, we have carved up our space, imposing imaginary lines of longitude and latitude, classified our flora and fauna, developed gradational systems for light, light waves and sound waves, making possible the spectrum of color along the artist's palette, as well as the different families of scales from which composers craft their symphonies. We have reified the chemical explosions within our nervous systems, assigning them a position on an emotional scale ranging from euphoric to despondent. Through time binding, the human being has developed the capacity to preserve or freeze time segments, assigning them point events value and significance relative to other happenings, assigning significance and meaning to events along the river of time, has led our society to exclaim never again when contemplating the crematorium of Auschwitz, as well as to anticipate a future time when nations will, in the words of Isaiah, <clears throat> beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. This is Dave Moss, your tour guide, welcoming you to an exciting semester of exploring the world's literature.